Yeah, Baza YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Happy you guys today. Part two of our UU uh, beta session. Now, if you may miss part one, a link to that should be on the screen or somewhere down in the description for you guys to go check out. Now, I did ladder a bit off screen, so I am higher than I was in the first part. But if you want to know more about the team that I am using, then check out the first part because I do go into detail about what I'm using. So we got the matchup here, and this team looks very very annoying but it looks like superior can definitely put in a lot of work uh volcanion could maybe be a problem if i lose my primarina so i gotta watch out for that glide score could be a nuisance depending on the set actually primarina once that blissey drops also puts in a lot of work so looking at leads i'm thinking that maybe he'll lead off with the glide score or even the volcanion so i kind of want to lead off with my primarina i'm gonna lead off with primarina as he leads off with Volcanion. Okay, so this is good because I do have the Energy Ball, which is going to be hitting this for neutral damage. So we're going to see what he's going to do as he has the Sludge Wave. What? I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting Sludge Wave at all. I did not even know this could learn Sludge Wave. That's got to be Specs. Okay, so Volcanion has now become... A huge huge nuisance as in comes the Gly score and now unfortunately he does activate his toxic orb so I could see him just wanting to go for a toxic here of his own so I'm gonna try and switch into my scissor as he does end up going for the toxic and I should be able to take this opportunity to go for the u-turn as unfortunately he does end up going for the knockoff and he probably does not have the roost is what I'm thinking. So I could maybe get a free switch into my superior here. And I almost want to go for the lead seed right away. But I think maybe subbing is the better play. Because there is a chance he may just want to try and toxic me here. As he does end up going for the toxic. So the good thing about this is that now I should be able to safely go for a leaf storm. And just kind of beat him down a little bit. As that's going to be a clean clean to a KO and I almost thought about going for the lead seed good thing I did not though but I'm gonna try and substitute here again on the options that he does want to switch out as he does try to bring in the Conkelder and I guess I could have gone for the leaf storm now that I think about it but well I mean either way I'm still gonna take a mock punch as long as I don't miss leaf storm here we should be in a pretty okay scenario as he does end up going for the drain punch I don't think hidden power rock at plus four is enough to knock him out but we're still going to be able to at least get rid of the conk. I mean, I would have liked the crit before <laughs> he broke my substitute. But I guess in that case, it would have sucked. So it's fine. That crit obviously doesn't matter. As in comes the scissor. This is where having hidden power fire would probably be a little bit better. Because I don't think that at plus six, we knock him out with the hidden power rock. And I did go over why I have hidden power rock as opposed to hidden power fire in the first part of this session so let me check out William here at plus six hidden power rock does not do anything so he can definitely just go for a u-turn here staying in is probably not the best play for me to do so what I should do is probably just switch out here as I'm gonna switch into my Hippowdon see what it wants to do if he does try and sword Xanth that's fine because we do have the whirlwind and I definitely see him just wanting to go for the u-turn here so I'm gonna slack off as I will be able to whirlwind him out. A plus two hit is definitely gonna hurt because we don't have a lot of defense EVs on this Hippowdon, even though we are an impish nature. Uh, mixed defensive Hippowdon, I think, is a lot better as we're gonna whirlwind him out back into the glass score. That's fine. Uh, this is where me mega evolving Absol would have been pretty nice because we could have definitely, definitely done that. So I'm gonna bring back in my scissor. Again, I don't care if he does want to knock off. We're gonna be able to take it relatively easily and this is just gonna give me a free U-turn back out into my superior as we should be able to potentially substitute on him or even just go for the Leaf Storm again is what I'm thinking. If I bring in Absol, I can probably just get off a huge hit now but I don't really see how that's gonna be beneficial later. Hmm, I think I may have to bring in Superior here because I think Earthquake does knock out Primarina after that huge hit he got off on us. I could try to Sword Zance with Terrakion, that wouldn't be too bad, but I don't think that's the best play for me to make 
as I can bring in Superior here and I really want to Leaf Storm. I really, really want to Leaf Storm. I'm going to Leaf Storm. I'm going to Leaf Storm here. As he actually does switch out into the Latios, that's fine. We're going to be able to chip that down a little bit and I can see what kind of set this Latios is. I need to be weary about how many Leaf Storms I'm going for because obviously I only have four left. So he could definitely go for a Draco here, maybe go for a a Psyshock even is what I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm going to try and substitute, see what he wants to do. As he does end up going for the side shock okay so he turns out to be life orb and that is a little bit scary so i'm gonna make a very aggressive switch in here this is probably a little bit risky but we are going to be able to take any hit that he wants to go for and now i should be able to mega evolve here and just pursuit trap this latios so getting rid of this latios is really great because that means his one one of his main things to outspeed Terrakion is now gone, and we've already got rid of the Conk Helder. As in comes the Scizor, I'm definitely just going to switch into my Hippowdon against this because I can't let him just freely set up a Sword Dance. That would be way too detrimental to us in this matchup. So luckily he didn't Sword Dance there, as I should be able to go for the Slack off here, be brought back up to a solid amount of HP. The only downside of going for the Whirlwind here is that we will maybe force in the Volcarona as luckily we don't I was so scared the Volcarona would come in I was so scared the Volcarona would potentially come in here and not Volcarona Volcanion sorry Volcanion I was scared the Volcanion would come in and this damn Gliscor is just gaining back all of his HP every time uh Terrakion can live one Earthquake, and if it comes down to it, I could Continental Crush. Because that right now is probably my main way of getting rid of this Gliscor, just because of how much of a nuisance it's looking to be. So I'm going to switch into my Absol here, as he ends up going for the Earthquake there. Good play on his part. And I'm going to be able to bring in Terrakion here, and potentially just Swords Dance is what I'm thinking and oh he screwed up boys he screwed up <laughs> this thing is about to get wrecked so I don't know if I want to go straight for the continental crush or not because I could see him wanting to switch out here but I think it's really the best yes yes come on this is plus two to Rakion. oh down it goes we just put down that Gly score not even bad not even bad so Terrakion just coming through again oh my lord man Terrakion continental crush Terrakion such a dawn such a dawn we can definitely take a bullet punch here and I'm just gonna nuke him with the close combat as we just barely live I'm gonna knock him out with the close combat and I think at this point uh Terrakion just wins the match yeah because Glasgow was his best answer for for pretty much uh, the rest of our team once that Primarina was dropped. But yeah, Terrakion on here was able to just outspeed Blissey and Volcanion. So yeah, guys, that is going to be uh, the end of part number two to this session. If, you if again, you missed part number one, a link to that is down in the description and it should be on your screen. So you guys can go check that out. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to hit the like button down below, guys. The support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Let me know how much you love Continental Crush Terrakion. Oh my god, this thing is so good. I love Content. I'm gonna use this a lot more. Continental Crush Terrakion is an absolute monster. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. With that being said, I will see you all tomorrow tomorrow uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy so later everybody because my brain and heart are both tied in the night and this hinders me from crying a lot this causing me to show no emotion but when i said i cared i wasn't joking but i guess it's too late for me to become broken but now i'm living with no more pain tears are hoping i'm just coasting yeah i said i'm coasting no more pain tears hoping for real